Duffield Hall has been an amazing place for the College of Engineering. Oh, it's just a wonderful space. We've brought together researchers in three research centers, five different departments with common tools and capabilities, and they work together and just create some amazing things. When we started with this building, nanotechnology was a thing unto itself. But over the years, it is embedded in almost all of the technology and science that we do across the entire college and really university. It's become the center of engineering life. One of the things that's pretty unique about this space is the full complement of tools. People are able often to do work that they didn't anticipate when they first came. It's a very unique facility because a lot of places you can only do bits and pieces of your research and then you have to go somewhere else. They use the microscopes around the clock. We are pretty flexible in how we let users use them. 24-7, we never shut down in this building. That field is great for interdisciplinary research. We synthesize material in my lab here in Duffield Hall that are currently being used in human clinical trials down in New York City. We're doing some things that no one else can do in the world. So it's really, really cool. I call my lab Disney World because we make your dreams come true in the lab. Yeah. Beyond just being a fantastic laboratory, it's also, in my opinion, the most important public space in the entire university. It's one of the only places to study on campus that isn't like silent and, you know, make sure that you're keeping to yourself. There's lots of student energy and activity that comes here. There's something about the atmosphere here, the environment, where it just really feels conducive to work. Whenever you're here, there's always people to work with. I can always find someone to help me with the problem sets. It's a nice place to just be around other people who are doing similar work to you. It works really well for me studying, and I guess everyone else likes it too. I never expected that it would be such a focal point for the students where they will work and socialize at the same time. The sound and acoustics is quite good. You always hear a little bit of a murmur, but there's never too much noise. I much prefer Duffield to any library. I like the energy, I like the people are talking, I like the hustle and bustle. I see all my friends here. I see people from other majors here. I get coffee, I chill, I do homework. I basically live in Duffield Hall. This is where everything takes place. I probably spend more time in Duffield than I do in my own bed. When I want to study, I can come anytime I want. And it's chill. Student impact's been fantastic for me. We're able to hold large-scale events. It changes itself to fit the needs of the people. To me, it's the prototype for how to have a good atrium and a good gathering place. Just a place that's really open, where sort of all of the people can come together and just have a good time on campus. I think it's very architecturally beautiful. I like the straight lines. I love all the windows. Yeah. It's beautiful here, and you can pretty much always find a table or some sort. And I love the little cubby holes. If you can get one of those alcoves, wow, those things are the best. <laughs> when you see an open alcove, it's like, yes. Engineering does not consist any longer of separate defined disciplines. Much engineering work involves communication across disciplines. We've been able to hire some of the best faculty in the world. We attract the very best students, and in some ways, the best facilities in the world. So it's been a tremendous transformational building for us, and it's great to celebrate it after 10 years. I can't imagine campus life without it.